I am Dr. R. Saumia, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Here we are going to see the topic about Decision Free Classification Algorithm from Unit 3 Supervised Learning in the subject Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. Objective to understand about the concept of Decision Tree Classification Algorithm. Decision Tree Classification Algorithm Decision Tree is the supervised learning technique that can be used for both classification and regression problems but mostly it is preferred for solving the classification problems. In the supervised learning, classification and regression are the problems. So this Decision Tree Classification method is used to solve the classification problem in the supervised learning. It is a tree structure classifier where internal nodes represent the features of the data set, branches represent the decision rules and each leaf node represents the outcome. In a decision tree classification algorithm there are two nodes decision node and leaf node. Decision nodes are used to make any decision and have multiple branches where as leaf node are the output of those decisions and do not contain any further branches. The decisions are the test or prefer performed on the basis features of a given data set. It is a graphical representation for setting all the possible solutions to the problem decision based on the given condition. It is called decision tree because similar to a tree it starts with a root node which expands on further branches and construct a tree <coughs> like structure. The decision tree simply asks a question and based on this answer whether yes or no based on this answer it further split into the tree uh, split the tree into the subtrees the below diagram explains the general structure of the decision tree this is the general structure of the decision tree first one is the decision node next it is subdivided into two one is the subtree and another one is the decision node in the subtree one decision node is there and again it is divided into leaf node two leaf nodes in the right side decision node is again divided into leaf node and decision node again uh, this decision node is divided into two leaf nodes let us see how does the decision tree algorithm work in a decision tree for predicting the class of given data set the algorithm starts from the root node of the tree this algorithm compares the value of root attribute with, a, with the record attribute and based on the comparison follows the branches and jumps to the next node for the next node the algorithm again compares the attribute value with the other sub nodes and move further the, it continues the process until it reaches the leaf node of the tree. The complete process can be better understood using the low algorithm. Step 1. Begin the tree with the root node. Say yes which contains the complete data set. Step 2. Find the best attribute in the data set using the attribute selection measure. Step 3 is divide the yes into subset that contains possible value for the best attributes. Step 4 generate the decision tree node which contains the best attribute. Step 5 recursively make new decision trees using the subset of the data set created in step 3 and continue this process until S stages is reached where you cannot further classify the nodes and called the final node as a leaf node. 
so let us see about the attribute selection measures uh, while implementing a decision tree the main issue arises that how to select the best attribute for the root node and the sub node so to solve this problem there is a technique which is called attribute selection measures or asm by this measurement we can easily select the best attribute for the nodes of the tree there are two popular techniques of asm which are information gain and gini index